Hello again. Um, so hopefully this will be another repair video. This is a water pump out of my camper van. Sure flow. Uh, 12 volt water pump. And uh, I went out on it the day the other day and went to make a cup of tea and the water wouldn't turn on. Um, now the wires were getting warm which tells me that the pump was trying to work um, and I already know that this has had water in it it's had water dripping on the top from uh, a leak from the water heater in my van which I've fixed um, so I've got a feeling that this somewhere has something seized it so um, we'll take it apart and see what we can find Obviously you've got the electric motor here and then the water pump part itself down the bottom here with the pressure sensor switch. So I think if I take these three screws out that will take the pump off the bottom. Just like that. So the pump part spins quite freely, smooth. But the motor does not. I don't know if it shows very well, but there is some rust around this bearing in the bottom of the motor. So, let's take the mount off. Right, eight mil. These two screws look like they go through the body and hold the body together. Springs and everything falling everywhere. There's brushes. And the top bearing. Some kind of for bronze or brass I've seen there is a bit of corrosion water staining in there and yeah that bottom bearing Definitely seized.
does have a bearing number of 6203ZZ. Chinese, of course. And everything else looks okay. No, no wear, no near contacts, no heavy corrosion. So I'm going to see if I can get a bearing and see if I can press that out. Put a new bearing in it. So a couple of days later, you can indeed get that bearing. Pretty cheap. I think it was. 450 delivered. There's a number, and you can't read it as well. 6203ZZ. Um, so, got to push this centre part out, and then push the bearing out of this housing forwards. So what I'm going to try, I've got this, what size, 11mm quarter drive socket that fits down the centre of the bearing. And I'm just going to try tapping that with a hammer and seeing what happens. That is going. There's the centre bit out. Now, turn it over and drive the bearing out. Right, now I've got a socket that fits in that housing where the bearing is. See if we could do the same. Right, got there in the end, ended up having to heat this up with a heat gun and really hit the uh, hit the bearing hard but it's pushed out I'll um, clean up this rust and corrosion and try and push the new one into here first and then push this into the, the bearing Right, so clean up the entire that housing, a bit of uh, scotch bright. Now I need to press that bearing into there, so I'm going to use a socket that's the same size, same size as the outer race. Put this in the vice like so, squeeze it together, hopefully I'll press it in nice and flush. So this is what I've got, socket, bearing, housing, in a vice. In theory, when I tighten the vice up, it should push that bearing in. All the way till it stops. So, still spins nicely. Alright, next part. So now I've got to press this into here. I don't know whether I can do that in the vise. Possibly. Just need to get a socket that's the same size as that in a, in a bearing race. Right, so we've got a 18 mil socket, same size as the inner bedroom race. Line 
it up nice. Perfect. Spins nice and free. Everything's set flush. Alright, so there we have it. A couple of sockets on the vise. Press the old bearing out. Which was a little bit tight in this alley housing. Obviously steel and alley corroded together a little bit, as you can see there. But got it out of one piece. New one pressed in. Spins nice and free. Okay, let's rebuild it. Um, where are we? There's these little notches in the case. Is there a front and back? I think, yeah, this is the front. Magnets. sits like so now the fun part is getting all this back together sit like that. So I just use them picks to hold the brushes back. I'll put that together. Just put a bit of spray on the bolts. There's the motor back together still spins which is a good thing and there's the mount that sits on the other back like so and then the pump itself which sits this way around that's uh, Bindle and inside the pump you know, is, has a keyway, a flat. I'm just got to line that up. Um, and then line the screw holes up. Okay, so then plug the motor into the pressure switch. And that's it, built back up. So how these work, these have got a pressure switch at the bottom here. Put 12 volt into that. And if the pressure, the water pressure inside this is below a certain voltage, it then sends, uh, not voltage, pressure, which I think is about 30 psi 
that they switch off at here. Um, and then it obviously powers up the motor. You can adjust the pressure apparently on this screw down here. But um, I'll get some power set up and test it. So I've got an old car battery and some jump leads and hopefully oh it still has some water in it but there you go one working pump sounds a bit awful because there's no water in it obviously and it's pumping air and it doesn't like that but there we go so that's another thing saved from the uh, landfill for the sake of four or five pounds and half an hour's work and place this seized bearing that had got water in it and it's now working I've already replaced the one in my van with a new one but this can be kept as a spare just in case um, so yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe it really does help people it doesn't cost you anything and uh, I'll see you again